Hi there, welcome. You are watching weekly world climate change news. I am Ved Solanke. We have to see the Asian climate news of the week. But first up, as usual, with the headlines. Greenwashing with phantom forests, a matter of concern. Oil, gas and coal fields must be shut down to reduce temperatures. Uruguay losing an ally against climate change. Jatropha plant essential to fight climate change in Nigeria. South Africa to face a decline in water levels ahead of winter. The decline of ocean memory over the past century. Ireland misses its carbon emission reduction goals. Iraq's famous lake dries up. Climate change causes the price of Goa's favorite drink, Fenny. In Ontario, 1950s style development must be banned forever. The news in detail. There have been a number of ambitious restoration initiatives around the world designed to capture carbon and slow global warming. However, there is a question as to whether these programs are functional on the ground or just exist in the papers. As reported by the Philippines Commission on Audit, the National Greening Program failed to reach 1.5 million hectares of forest and mangroves because inadequate care was taken after planning. New efforts will be made to track success rates. Positively, at least the government conducted an audit while in many other countries there is little clarity concerning the results of these programs. Of researchers from Oil Change International and the International Institute for Sustainable Development said that stopping building of new oil, gas and coal fields or sites is not enough to eliminate the discharge of carbon dioxide into air. But already available fossil fuels production and reserves must be shut down forever if 1.5 degree limit is to be reached. The team urged governments to start acting on this and not bend to the influence of fossil fuels companies, meaning that they have to dismantle this operating oil, gas and coal fields and facilities. In Uruguay, a special kind of wetland called pet bog, which has the capacity to administrate water like a sponge is paradoxically losing its battle against climate change. The pet bog, which can give or take water in the surrounding environment, is a determinant source of water in the climate crisis in the future. This ecosystem maintains CO2 underwater and prevents its release into the atmosphere. Between 1960 and 1970, Uruguay had around 10,000 hectares of pet bog, but now with the fast degradation, land use change and other processes, the hectares were reduced to 4,000 in a good condition and 4,000 in critical risk. A plant that thrives in arid conditions has proved to be essential in the fight against desertification. Jetropha is essential for agriculture, environment, industrial and pharmaceutical uses. Farmers were encouraged to cultivate Jetropha on a large scale for biofuel factories and alternative energy. Over 120 farmers in Katsina State, Nigeria planted Jetropha measuring over 1000 hectares of land. They harvest seed oil and biodiesel used for production of agro allied products, including insecticides, soap, and candles. The farmers are crying out due to government failure to set up biofuel factories to fight fossil fuel and check desertification and soil acidity and promote production of pharmaceutical raw materials. The South African government has called upon its citizens to use water sparingly and to report any water leaks or vandalism to the local authorities. The country is said to experience declining water levels before the winter season. According to climate scientists, an increased climate variability will expose South Africa to more prolonged droughts. Some parts of the country are still experiencing drought that has been going on since 2015. Despite the recent heavy rains that has caused other parts to flood. The drought season from 2015 is one of the worst experienced in the country in the recent times. Ocean memory, the persistence of ocean conditions is a major source of predictability in the climate system beyond weather time scales. The decline is predominantly driven by shoaling of the upper ocean mixed layer 
depth in response to global surface warming. As these changes manifest, the usually stable environment of the ocean is becoming more unpredictable and erratic. And in some ways, the phenomenon is akin to the ocean losing its memory. Scientists suggest ocean memory as measured by the year-to-year -year persistence of sea surface. Temperature anomalies is projected to steadily decline in the coming decades over much of the globe. Despite the recent recommendations and pledges made throughout the last few years to cut GHG emissions, a recent report from the Sustainable Energy Authority of Ireland found that carbon emissions from fossil fuels increased by 6.3% last year when by law they should have reduced by about 4.8 percent easing covid 19 restrictions and the amount of oil and coal used for electricity generation have contributed significantly to the increase in carbon emissions ireland which relies also on wind turbines and hydropower to generate electricity has seen long spells of calm weather that cause a decrease in the outputs Sawa Lake, once the most popular salt lake in Iraq and a famous tourist attraction, has run up a completely dry. Environmentalists said that the lake has been drying up since 2014 due to the rising temperatures that increased the evaporation rate and the illegal wells dug around the area which drown a considerable amount of groundwater that feeds the lake. Iraq is one of the most impacted countries by climate change and with the current climate trends, the two rivers which provide 98% of Iraq's surface water, Tigris and Euphrates are expected to dry up by 2014. Feni to rise more than expected. Affected by climate change in recent years, extreme weather in Goa has caused cashew nut production to plummet to unprecedented levels this year. Due to the scarcity of raw materials, it is almost impossible for manufacturers to maintain the output of Urak obtained through single distillation, let alone guarantees that Sioux India rescues dehydrated birds from the sky in a record heat wave. The government of Ontario has proposed to build three super highways in the Greenbelt area. Directly destroying more than 2,000 areas of Greenbelt, this would have been a Devastating effect on Ontario's climate, nature, farmland, lake, waterways, air, food and wildlife. It would geoparadise Ontario's livable future. For these reasons, five environmental organisations are pressurising all political parties to amend the Green Belt Act and permanently ban construction of superhighways in the Green Belt. In light of the upcoming Ontario elections on June 2nd, 2022. It's all about this edition of Weekly World Climate Change News. Thank you for watching us. See you next week. Goodbye.